friends very good morning to everybody i am parimala devi teacher educated i am working as assistant professor in department of computer science velour college of education today's class will study about process of communication first we will see about what is the communication the communication is the art of transmitting information ideas and attributes from one person to another person it is the meaningful process interaction among the human beings the communication is the word derived from the latin word communis or communicare the communication is the expression of thoughts and emotions through the words or and actions this is the model of process of communication in communication at least we need two persons one is the sender another one is the receiver sender send the message to the receiver receiver after receiving message from the sender give the feedback this is the normal way of communication process occurs in our day to day life types of communication the communication in two different types verbal communication and non verbal communication the verbal communication it occurs through the medium of spoken or written form some examples of verbals of communication is spoken communication written communication or telecommunication or electronic communication the verbal communication may be occur in this way of communication in our classroom and another one is non verbal communication this is the communication occurs without the words by using or sense organs body movements posters gestures or facial expression this is the way of conveying the message to the students for example in non verbal communication may be either in touch eye contact facial expression poster gesture sound silence or physical expression this is the normal way of conversation occurs in classrooms in classroom communication the teachers must of all depend on the communications daily every teacher in classroom must have some important language what are that means sound vocabulary and structure as a teacher must be proficient in pronunciation expression use of words and sentence structures in classroom communication it is a tool for controlling and motivating the people it is a social and emotional process we are communicating in the classroom communication the communication is main features in classroom it's a two way process teachers and students they can exchange the informations and it, the information may be either in the verbal or non verbal form and passing the information in the circular form and it's a goal oriented the information sharing among the students it is a continuous process these are the some features of communication in the classroom communication occurs on the three levels of communication what are the three levels means intrapersonal communication interpersonal communication and public communication we will see the detailed about these three communication first one is the intrapersonal communication the intrapersonal communication means to communicate with oneself it take place within an individual it may also say it is a self talk this is the intrapersonal communication the another one is the interpersonal communication the interpersonal communication to communication that take place between two or more persons who establish the relationship in this way of communication at least we need two or more people interact and exchange messages or ideas this type of communication is one of the most common forms of communication in our daily classes in this diagram represents the sender and receiver the sender send the message to the receiver the receiver receives the message from the sender and return and give the feedback to the sender the last one is public communication 
the public communication it is generally defined as a large group of people when a speaker sends a message to an audience for simple example for public communication is face to face message delivered by the speaker to the audience or indirect such as an message on radio or television these are the three important communications occurs in a human life before we see what is the communication what are the types of communication what are the some important features for using the communication in classroom now we are going to see process of communication this is a diagram simply represents process of communication among the people in process of communication will occur in seven steps to be followed the sender and the receiver the first one is the sender the sender is nothing but the person who intends to convey the message the first process of communication is sender the sender send the informations to the to the receiver with the intention of passing information and ideas to others is known as sender or communicator the second one is ideas this is the subject matter of communication it may be an opinion attitude feelings views orders or suggestions the sender can send the message in 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 any form of these kinds one is encoding encoding is nothing conversation of subject matter into symbol is the process of encoding passing requires use of certain symbols such as the words actions or pictures or etc sent by the sender the fourth one is communication channel the channel is the medium through which message is sent or received between two or more people several can be several channels can be used to send or receive the message that means for example seeing hearing touching smelling and tasting while selecting the channel of communication several factors must be considered the first one is availability of channels purpose suitability types of receivers types of message and cost these are the important factors should be kept in the mind while selecting the channels the channels may be classified into three different kinds if you the first one is the visual channel that means facial expression or body language or positions we can use in visual channel the second one is auditory channel the auditory channel in the form of spoken words sound telephone or mobile communication and etc the last one is combined channel audio visual media consoling a person with a touch or spoken words this is the way of this these are the some important classification of channels while making the conversation between the peoples one is the receiver the receiver is an individual or a group of individual intended to receive decode and interrupt the message sent by the sender or source of the message the receiver is also known as decoder we can see, we can call it as a decoder another one is decoding decoding is nothing the person who receives the message or symbol from the communicator tries to convert the same in such a way so that the many extract its meaning to his complete understanding that means interpretation of the message the last one is the feedback the feedback is nothing it is a return message sent by the sent by the receiver to the sender it is a most essential element of communication process as it is shows that the receiver has understood the primary message sent by the sender the successful communication must be a two way process where the sender sent the message and receiver feedback from the receiver be in the form of verbal or non verbal it depends upon the people conversation they can maybe select either the verbal or non verbal communication these are the some important steps while making the conversation this is the process of communication
Today's we learn about pros of communication. In next section, we will be see the barriers of communication, methods to overcome barriers of communication, and techniques of effective communication in the classroom. Thank you, friends. Friends, if you there any doubts, ask me in comments. Thank you for watching my videos. If you like my videos, please click the like button and share your friends. Thank you, friends.